The U.S. House of Representatives overwhelmingly passed a bill on Wednesday, March 13, that would give TikTok's Chinese owner ByteDance about six months to divest the U.S. assets of the short video app. Or face a ban in the greatest threat to the app since the Trump administration. The bill passed 352 to 65 with bipartisan support, but it faces a more uncertain path in the Senate, where some favor a different approach to regulating foreign-owned apps posing security concerns. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said the Senate will review the legislation. This is a critical national security issue. The Senate must take this up and pass it, Number 2 House Republican Steve Scalise said on social media platform X. The fate of TikTok, used by about 170 million Americans, has become a major issue in Washington. Lawmakers said their offices had received large volumes of calls from teenage TikTok users who opposed the legislation. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said on Wednesday, we want to see the Senate take swift action. TikTok CEO Shou Zi Chu said in a video posted on Wednesday, the legislation, if signed into law, will lead to a ban on TikTok in the United States and would take billions of dollars out of the pockets of creators and small businesses. It will put 300,000 American jobs at risk. He added the company will not stop fighting and will exercise its legal rights to prevent a ban. He visited Capitol Hill on Wednesday on a previously scheduled trip and plans to return on Thursday, a source brief on the matter said, amid popular support for the app. The measure is the latest in a series of moves in Washington to respond to U.S. national security concerns about China. From connected vehicles to advanced artificial intelligence, chips to cranes at U.S. ports. The political climate is growing in favor of the bill. President Joe Biden said last week he would sign it and White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan on Tuesday asked, do we want TikTok as a platform to be owned by an American company or owned by China? Do we want the data from TikTok, children's data, adults' data, to be going, to be staying here in America or going to China? The Chinese Foreign Ministry criticized the legislation on Tuesday, arguing though the U.S. has never found any evidence of TikTok posing a threat to the U.S. national security. It has never stopped going after TikTok. A number of prominent Democrats in the House voted against the bill including House Democratic Whip Kathleen Clark, Arizona Senate candidate Ruben Goyego. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, as well as the top Democrats on the Judiciary, Ways and Means, Transportation and Intelligence Committees. There are serious antitrust and privacy questions here. And any national security concerns should be laid out to the public prior to a vote, Ocasio-Cortez said. Senate Commerce Committee Chair Maria Cantwell, who will play an important role in the Senate's next move said she wants legislation that could hold up in court and is considering a separate bill, but is not sure what her next step is. The vote comes just over a week since the bill was proposed following one public hearing with little debate and after action in Congress had stalled for more than a year. Last month, President Joe Biden's re-election campaign joined TikTok raising hopes among TikTok officials that legislation was unlikely this year. The House Energy and Commerce Committee last week voted 50 to 0 in favor of the bill, setting it up for a vote before the full House. Several dozen TikTok users rallied outside the Capitol before the vote. The company paid for their travel to Washington and accommodations, a TikTok spokesperson said. It is unclear whether China would approve any sale or if TikTok's U.S. assets could be divested in six months. If Biden's failed to do so, app stores operated by Apple, Alphabet's Google and others could not legally offer TikTok or provide web hosting services to Biden's control applications. In 2020, 
Then President Donald Trump sought to ban TikTok and Chinese own WeChat, but was blocked by the courts. In recent days, he had raised concerns about a ban, but nearly all House Republicans shrugged those off. Representative Mike Gallagher, one of the bill's authors, said they don't want a ban, but divestiture and said Trump, if re-elected in November, may have an opportunity to consummate the deal of the century in a TikTok sale. It remains unclear if Tencent's WeChat or other high-profile Chinese-owned apps could face a ban under the legislation. Any forced TikTok divestment from the US would almost certainly face legal challenges, which the company would need to file within 165 days of the bill being signed by the president. There are still potential legal issues with the American Civil Liberties Union and other advocacy groups arguing the bill is unconstitutional on free speech and other grounds. In November, a U.S. judge blocked a Montana state ban on TikTok use after the company sued.